Hello. My name is Bill, and I'm a senior design engineer, and I love working in AutoCAD and Inventor. Um, I'm going to show you the very first thing you should do whenever you get your AutoCAD program, and I believe that's one of the most essentials is setting up your workspace. That includes your snaps, um, your uh, lines to see where you're going to be um, drawing from another line that's going to show a, a hidden line. All these things are important, but the very first thing you should do is set up your um, your workspace. So we're going to go to new. I've made my own template because I like the way I set it up, but you can do that later, and I'll teach it to you later if you do work with me. But down here is the most important bar you're probably going to see. This gear right here is called your workspace, and then this is going to be where you set it up. Now, I've created my own workspace, and I call it BDS Tutor Settings. And I'll explain to you everything on this bar down here, what its purpose is, and then you can decide whether you like these things or not. And then you will save your workspace in this tab. And then you will always go to that workspace. It's kind of like your own personal set of tools that you're going to be familiar with. Some people like the grid. Some people don't. Some people like doing mid snaps and midpoints. Some people don't. Some people like, and I'll explain each one of these to you. And I'll also show you how you can get the information on your own if you're not watching the video by just using these basic tips. So here we go. The very first thing you always will need to understand in, in AutoCAD, everything relates to something else. So whenever you hover over something, it's going to bring up the uh, command line for what everything is. This is in your model. This here is going to be your grid mode. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. This is grid mode on. This is grid mode off. If you hover over it, it'll say GRD, GRID, MOD, or shortcut key F7. If you type that into the command line down here, which you see here, which I'm not going to demonstrate in a lot of time for this, and I got five minutes, it'll show the grid mode. I'm just going to go through these real quick. This is your snap mode for your grid. So if you were up here and you had your snap mode on, this thing would jump from point to point to point, depending on how you set up your grid. Okay. Most people I'm aware of don't like that because it gets cumbersome when you try to zoom in and get your lines real tight. This here is your retracking for polar tracking. If you want to be more specific, you click the little arrow and it can give you the degrees how you want to track. Most people don't mess with that. Um, most people leave that alone naturally. But if you do want to mess with it, the tracking settings will be here under tracking settings. And all your snap grids and drafting settings will be here that are on this bar. But let's not get into that. Okay, the next thing is going to be your isometric drafting on or off. This means it's going to either show part of the line or part of whatever you're drawing or the dimensions. And it's it's it, you can hover over it, like I said, and or type it in in the F1 key and I'll explain more to you. I never use it. Okay. Um, if you go to the setup key, that's your ISO plane. That would be for UCS down here. Um, so I don't use it. I use the snapping reference because I want my line to show as I'm drawing one line. I'll show you an ex example. I've got five. I've got two minutes left. Okay, here's a line. And then I want to draw another line down. You see that green line that shows up? That's my reference line. If I didn't have that on, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, keep going. These are my snaps, the most important thing. Write them down if you don't have them. I suggest you use endpoint, midpoint, center, geometric center, node. You can rewatch this video again if you don't get it all. Intersection, extension, insertion, perpendicular, nearest, and apparent intersection. I highly agree going with this setup. Okay. We, okay, now we never ne normally have to show annotations in this object. Those are mostly for blocks. This is your scale. Let's say you're going to be an architect and you're going to do one to two. Your, your teacher may say or your architect will say, I want to do a, a one to four scale or one to 20, whatever, depending on your drawing. Okay, again, like I told you, this is where you're going to save all these settings as. Okay, we don't mess with this thing down here, the annual monitor. I don't really know what that is. I haven't used it my entire career. Uh, we don't need to isolate objects. And we don't need a graphics config. That's basically for your hardware acceleration. I do happen to have an accelerated graphics card in here. I've got 50 seconds left. Okay. So I am trying to show you that this is the best way to set up your toolbox. Set up your AutoCAD 
don't go by what the default is. Even if you go into another job or another company, set it up the way you like it because you're going to draw to what you like and not to what somebody else is forcing you to. You'll be your best if you draw at what you like and not what somebody else forced you. I have to stop.